Hello friends, this is Pastor Bowling again. Glad to be with you. Happy to be with you. At uh, my age, I'm happy to be up and getting dressed this morning. But I want to just share with you uh, our thought for, to, for today. Well, as I've been dwelling in my heart is that in Isaiah chapter 53, let me read it to you. It's Isaiah chapter 53, beginning in verse uh, 5, uh, verse 6 and 7 of chapter 53. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each one of us has turned to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. The entire chapter of, of Isaiah 53 tells us of the suffering servant, but I want to thank you for a I minute mean, for we, who we are. God said, God's people are called sheep. Why did God call us sheep? Why was it we related this? that his people would be as sheep rather than as a dash hound or as an eagle or a gorilla. If my people who are called by my name, Jesus said that he would be our shepherd. He is our shepherd. We, we, we quote the, tw the 23rd Psalm many times that the Lord is our shepherd. And I want to talk just a moment about that this morning. The shepherd, we are the sheep. We need a shepherd. Why do we, why do we need a shepherd? First of all, sheep are just dirty. They're dirty. They need to be cleaned up. We all, all of us like sheep have gone astray. We're not only dirty, but, but we're stupid. We don't know how to get out of a rainstorm. If we're not careful, we, we have a tendency to wonder, to stray away from the fold, to get our own thing. We keep our heads down and we start nibbling. And first thing we know, we're out of sight of the fold and, and we're all by ourselves. We, when we're that way, we're subject to being attacked by the enemy. And also the sheep have no way to defend themselves. They might could run, but with a, with a big coat of wool, they can't move very fast. So the wolves are out there, or the, or the enemy is there, other predators that are there to, uh, to attack the sheep and to, to devour them, to lead them further astray, to capture them, and sometimes to eat them. And that's what the enemy does for us. But to know that we, because of all of these things and who we are as sheep, we need a shepherd. We need someone to help us, to protect us, to guide us, to teach us, to feed us. Jesus told Peter on three, on, the, on one occasion, three times, he said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, I love you, Lord. He said, well, feed my lambs, the little ones. Then he asked him again, do you, Peter, do you really love me? He said, yes, Lord, you know I love you. And Jesus said to him, well, feed my sheep. On another occasion, that same, at the same time, he took him three times. And Peter got a little offended a little bit because you tell me three times to feed the sheep. Well, that's what we're to do. As under shepherds, we're to feed the sheep. As our pastor, Steve Bowen and his wife and Pastor Caleb and, and Ashley and Pastor Landon and others are set free. They're our shepherds. They watch over us. They guide us. They protect us. They keep us. They feed us. And it was so glad to see Pastor Steve back able to be with us and to, to share some words of, of wisdom with us and, and to feed us. Over the years, I've, I've had it's been my responsibility to feed and to protect and to keep and to visit and to doctor and to apply healing to, to many that of the sheep that, that God has sent my way. So Pastor Steve and Pastor Caleb as their shepherds here at Set Free, they love you. 
They appreciate the fact that I have opportunity to be here. And I feel this morning before I got out of bed that what I wanted to do at this moment is to pray for our pastors and want you to join with us. I'm going to pray with my eyes open because we can do that. When we drive down the highway, we don't close our eyes to pray. And hopefully that we do pray and sometimes we have to pray in order to get where we want to go. But if we lift up Pastor Steve and his precious wife Donna to you this morning, Father, and ask for you to protect them and keep them, we pray for a hundred percent healing for Pastor Steve. He's been through such a hard time with with this uh, with his health, and we believe that God is going to raise him back a hundred percent, restore his strength, and give him strength. Bless. Donna, Lord, as she stands by his side and, and be as she is there to encourage him and to help him and to be, be the one that he leans upon and to be by his side. They pray for, we pray for Pastor Caleb and his wife Ashley. Father, we lift them up to you as they have had to assume a greater role and burden upon their shoulders while Pastor Steve has been, has been unable to be here. But we pray that God, that you will strengthen Caleb and bless him, give him wisdom, give him strength, give him direction as, as he too leads the flock and feeds us Sunday after Sunday. And we pray for Pastor uh, Landon, Lord, as he feeds our lambs, our young people, those that are there as, as you have directed him. And, and we see such a, your hand upon him and pray that God that you will give, continue to strengthen encourage him and be a blessing to him. And Lord, we just, we just want to bless you today and give you thanks for the opportunity that we have together together here at Set Free. I know that we are one of the folds that you have, but there are other folds. There are other sheep that are in the different folds, but here at Set Free, you've given us these men to lead us and direct us. And to you, we give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.